Hi, uh, this is Michael Nelson, and I'm going to show you some software that I've been working on for the last couple days. Um, I joined up with a guy on, online who wrote an 8086 uh, emulator uh, that e basically emulates the 8086 processor in uh, software. So um, I compiled his libraries for the Mac and wrote a nice little front end that uh, essentially reproduces a lot of the functionality in the hardware board that I built back in college. So with this emulator, I can um, give it a program that I wrote back in college that's supposed to run on the hardware, and this will uh, emulate it in software. So let's just t execute the program here, which is called 8086libtest, a very nice name. And I've slowed it down significantly so you can see the drawing, but as you can see there, you have the boot screen, and the, now you have the main menu here and down below the main menu is a little box that has a couple pound signs in it and those pound signs represent le uh, lit LED light bulbs that are on the uh, hardware or the actual hardware and um, since uh, uh, we're, we're doing this all from the terminal I just did a representation of using pound signs to uh, display lit LEDs so um, one example you can do is run the LED test and that will display patterns. So let's uh, enter that and it will display running LEDs and uh, the first pattern. And it's going really slow because I've slowed down the process of just to make it easy to see. But um, usually, I, or I can change it so it runs at you know normal speed and everything's pretty fast. So this is uh, pretty much all it does right now, it, it will display the LED output and it'll display um, uh, LED output or LCD and LED output. It'll also handle keypad input, um, so you can do up, down, uh, zero through F, um, enter and quit, I believe. And let's see if I quit. Uh, that's not working right now, but oh, actually, oh, not working. Um, and it also uh, the the keypad input is all interrupt driven, so whenever a key is pressed, um, it generates a interrupt in the emulated 8086. So it handles it just like a normal 8086. Um, uses the interrupt vector table to you know service the interrupt and all that stuff. So uh, it's a pretty cool little uh, software project, and hopefully we can make it uh, do some really neat things. So. Anyway, thanks for taking a look at my video, and hope you have a good night.